Hi, Janaya. What's going on? You doing good, girl? You doing good? This is a good walk. Well, I was going to talk about a uh, PlayStation game that was uh, that's supposed to come out on Steam or is out on Steam. How they're delisting this one because of the, P the PlayStation Network requirement. Same thing with Helldivers 2 that uh, that they've now reversed. I believe it's Ghost of Tashima. But something else literally just happened. Uh, Rex Murphy. Uh, a lot of you probably don't even know the name if you're in America. Uh, up here in Canada, he's a uh, well-known journalist, pundit. He used to work for the CBC. Another dog over there, Giants, trying to trying to pull on me. But she's doing good. She walked away. Um, yeah, here. Take a look at Janiah. She's walking. She's walking. You doing good, Janiah? Are we doing good? Anyway, yeah, he was uh, a journalist for the CBC. And uh, he, he, he got fired from the CBC back quite a few years ago. I believe he started writing for the National Post um, and Toronto Sun. He just became like a, a freelance journalist at that point. And he, he's had many papers published, many articles published. And he, you know, he spoke about things all the way from climate change to our current government uh, up here in Canada. And you know, spoke out about a lot of things. I think he even toured recently with Jordan Peterson. There, you can see Janiah. Come here, girl. Come here. I'm just sitting down on the hill. Uh, we got Weston and Mall right there. I got Janiah right here <coughs> in my face. Here. Here, if I do this, you probably can still hear me. Um, you can see probably still see what's going on because I now have a mic for this. Yes, hi Janiah, who's a good girl? Yes, you're a good girl. Anyway, it's uh, it's a bit of a shock that uh, Rex Murphy passed away. He, he died of cancer at 77. Um, that's not a not a very, very old age. Unfortunately, I I probably will suffer the same fate. Um, I don't I don't know how long I'm gonna live. Um, but I have my medical issues that will that are prone to cancer. So at some point, it, you know, it's something I got to think about. Good girl, good girl. Yeah, you good girl. You gonna sit there, enjoy? <laughs> what? Am I allowed to talk? What? You good girl. Anyway, um, it's pretty uh, pretty saddening, uh, especially with the new election cycle that's going to start here up in Canada for 2025 within the next year. Um, Rex Murphy was a voice. Of what uh, what I found recently uh, is more of a voice a voice of reason. Uh, even though he was uh, he was very witted, he he, he he made more political content. Uh, it's actually something that I didn't think. I, when when I came across the my feed, I was like, "Holy crap! Rex Murphy passed away." That's that's not uh, that's not something you see every day. Rex Murphy passing away, it, it's uh, it's a little disheartening because now with that election cycle coming up, we're gonna have one less voice that actually bellows against the uh, against the narrative right now with the uh, the political figures. Uh, it, it, he, you know what? The guy was well spoken. He, he was well-witted at the same time he was actually well respected between his peers even though he was fired from the CBC just for his viewpoints much much the way things have gotten up here in Canada if you don't fit the narrative they boot you to the door and it's really unfortunate to hear about what are you doing are you getting ready to lay down are you gonna lay down no you're just you're just getting getting closer hi I know who, who could ever throw you out? No one. No one ever could. No one ever will. Yeah. What? Uh, have we sat for too long? Have we sat for too long? I think I've sat for too long. Uh, you know, Rex Murphy passing away, it really, it really is unfortunate because he's probably one of the few, one of the few voices, like I said, one of the few journalists that actually would sit there and, and stand up against what's going on in the political climate up here in Canada. And, you know what, not everyone agrees with them. I don't agree with everything everyone says. If I, if I ever did that, that would just make me a sheep. And I'm definitely not one of those. <laughs> I walk my own path. And, uh, 
you know what, I've weeded through the weeds and I get it. You know, some days I, I, I get things that people don't like me saying. People think I'm absolutely wrong. Uh, but you know what, that's, that's being human. If, if you can't make a, a little mistake here and again and uh, move on. Uh, you know, I, I'm also gonna I'm gonna touch here. Uh, I watched the Oilers game, uh, the Canucks game one. Uh, Oilers uh, absolutely abysmal. I, I watched a couple penalties that should have been called there in the last little bit. But the the one thing that's coming out of that right now is a fan that was banging on the glass um, got tossed out of the game. And as they got tossed out of the game, they started accusing Paul Coffey of making a racist gesture on the bench that's absolutely ridiculous uh he, he's on the bench he's got more things more pressing things to worry about than to to make a, some sort of gesture that's out there in the middle of uh in the middle of the crowd just to make someone upset they they got his attention he got he, he got the attention of uh security you're not supposed to bang on the glass in in the arenas you get tossed um, and that's very much the same of what's going on right now in the political climate. You know, any, you get accused of one thing and it goes down the line and, and suddenly you're getting tossed in that sense. So, uh, and, but one side is, oh, oh, you say things are racist or there's a, there's allegations behind it. Suddenly you can do no harm. No, no, I'm going to guess a fan got a little bit inebriated, uh, got the attention of Paul Coffey. He just fluffed it off. And then he, because he, he didn't want to sit there and deal with that in, in the middle of a hockey game that he's helping coach. No, and then he gets tossed for excessively banging on the glass at the arena when you're not supposed to do that. That's absolutely hilarious that you get tossed and and now it's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, Paul Coffey was being racist. No, I don't, I don't buy it. A lot of people aren't buying that either. And that's the type of thing that Rex Murphy would have talked about. Uh, he might have talked about something like that, uh, but you know what? It, it wasn't even that big of a deal. It, it's something that's under the radar, and it's going to be—it's going to blow up. You know, these things blow up, and that's where they go today. Uh, you just have to accuse someone of being a bad person, and they—they get—they get tossed to the wind. What are you watching? You watching that puppy dog there, Janaya? Yeah, you don't need to watch that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go here. I hope you didn't mind this one. It's a little bit of a walk. Uh, maybe I'll film a little bit back uh, on the way back, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll edit it in there. Look at this girl. Look at this beautiful girl. Yeah. Who's a good girl? You going to whine? You going to whine? Anyway, have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix in the shadow. I'm signing off here, and I will see you again here soon. What's going on, Janaya? Yeah? Good girl? We have some sort of crazy ass circus going on over here. Across from Wesson Mall called Paranormal Circus. I have to go check that out with the wife.